it's Lucy and welcome back to my channel so for today's video I'm using um, the brand hippie crafter right and y'all this painting this judge pour came out so beautiful so vibrant now it's still drying but even as it dries I'm going to show you the pictures as far as when it's wet and also right now as it's drying and it's staying as is still as vibrant and so it's pretty hot I like it a lot um now the colors that I use the brand everything about it in terms of where do you get these paints and anything else from this brand the crafter will be in the description below so make sure y'all check them out all right because it's dope I really love how it came out and the cells right because usually when you see me do my gush pours there's hardly ever any cells um and if there is it's not many right and but this the cells that came out and the location of them I'll let y'all see it for yourselves now the only um paint color that I used that was actually like this mine was for the base which was um black all right and that's because I had leftover black from my previous Dutch pour and I didn't want it to go to waste um and so I used just you know just to see how they would look like over a black background I had I don't know what to expect because again when I use um these colors you see that I used yellow and you see me hardly ever using yellow because sometimes yellow can muddy quite a bit but I'm like hey different brand we'll see what happens and I use colors that you know usually you know that these colors can muddy you know with yellow but I'm like well let me see let me see if they'll stay true to the yellow and so I picked these colors at random which again you'll see in the video and you see how I layered them yellow stayed yellow y'all I didn't get any mudding of the yellow with the black or the yellow with you know the um other colors yellow with the blue no mudding and colors flowed well no trouble i mixed them with paint um and water and i used a little bit of flow trial also now you, you're not gonna see me mixing them in a the video but what i'll do is i'll do another video for next week and what you'll see is you know how i'm mixing the colors for this brand okay but i'm happy and you'll see me I'm doing some cleanup beforehand, right? Because I have a silicone mat that I use. And so when the paints fall over that and it dries, you can just peel them off just fine. However, there's times when there's still some left over that I just can't peel off. Even if I wet it, whatever, it won't come off. So I just kind of leave it alone. But they have, you know, these wipes that you can use to clean your paints off. And so, you know, so you'll see me in a video, in this video, I'm peeling off the other big chunks that I can peel off. And then I'll go over me using that wipe and I just wipe the surface down from the silicone mat get it nice and then you can see things just coming back up and you'll see how much it cleans because it has this texture and that I'll show you on there too and it cleans yeah check them out again the all the information will be below the description box and check out the video and I'll talk to you after all right bye now I do love how this continues to work but now we're going to move on to some paint some colors again from hippie crafter and thanks again for sending these to me look at that this set has 20 colors and these colors are bright they're beautiful and what i did like about them is that they stay true to the color on the canvas and so here i go opening the box right it's a nice card inside and also the back of this has some of the other products that they do have right and so i do have some of the um the canvas boards and i'll put to those over there so i do have some of the ones right here and i haven't used them yet but i definitely plan to we're doing some artwork with my um, acrylic pens and so i'll show you guys that too in a different video all right so look at all these colors there's 20 of them and y'all know I love my blues. And look at that roll of blues. Look at that. Stunning colors. Right? And what I realized that with mixing these, you know, a little goes a long way. And so I'll be having these for a while. Now, since it's my first time using this, I was trying to figure out the best way to mix, right? Because you guys know, usually I mix with paint and water. But this time I used some paint. I used some water. And... I use a little bit of um, American flow trial, not much, but I'll do a different video and you can see me actually mixing 
these paints so you can see exactly what I did. All right, and so I'm going to, you know, continue to look at some of these colors here and show you what all they have too. And I'm going to pick out some colors for Dutch Pour. Now, you know, usually I gravitate towards blues, reds, gold, and all this other stuff. But I wanted to find some different. Like, I thought about that color there. Then I'm like, well, I don't know because there's just so many to choose from. And a part of me wanted to use all 20, but I figured maybe a different time, right? And so I do end up picking just five random colors. But again, y'all know I love my blues. And so there had to be a blue in there for sure, right? And so I did end up using um, the white that I picked up. Now, I don't know when the last time I used yellow in a Dutch pour. If, yeah, it's been a long time, a very long time. And I'm like, you know what? Why not, right? Because I want to see how all this is going to work together, how it's going to blend, how the colors stay when they dry, when they're wet. I want to see the effects of this. And so... You know, I definitely, you know, went for a blue first, but I thought maybe I'll do shades of blues. But I changed my mind because, again, too much blues, right? And so the top five that I ended up with that you'll see in the video is what I used. And again, I used mix a small amount because, again, I want to see how they would flow together, how the colors, that palette in general would do. It did amazing, just FYI. And there was an unexpected surprise i did not expect cells because usually when i do my dutch pours you know i do it and if they're cells they're there but very little you know i know i don't ever expect like you know cells upon cells and cells within cells but that's what i got here and i was like oh my word then i figured maybe they're going to drop off or you know kind of just look blue, like a big blob you know when it dries and before I left today, I took a peek at the painting as it's drying, and it is still as expected. I mean, it's holding up really nice. And so I will show you a picture in the end of this wet. So freshly done as far as the wet painting, and I'll show you what it looks like as it is drying, and it is still looking amazing. And those cells within the cells, you will get close-ups. Wow. And so I highly recommend this. And I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of this video, but don't forget, look in the description because there's a special surprise for all of you. There's a discount for these products, all right? And I'll have the link as far as where to get them from and the discount codes and the whole shebang for you, all right? And so enjoy the rest of this and I'll catch you guys next time. All right, everyone. So right now I'm just going to peel off the big stacks, right? The ones that are easy removed from the silicone mat. But there's going to be some other ones that I just can't remove, which you'll see soon. And I'm going to be using some special wipes from Hippie Crafter. So that way... We'll see what happens, right? I guess my first time using this, but I absolutely love it because all those little areas that I cannot take off or even with that scrub with the baby wipe that will not come off, they definitely come off nicely with this. And so I cannot wait for you guys to see that. Now in the video, I only use one wipe because I want to see how far I can get it and how, how long it will, you know, let me scrub the mat for. But even off camera, I went to different corners and I continued to scrub and it was still working. So I love it because you'll see what it has as far as the different linings on there and both sides work beautifully. And even after I was able to remove what I could, you'll see that. I oh, see that right there. I couldn't really take it off. Even with my nails, it wouldn't come up, but you'll see what happens later. But even with that, I was able to take that same wipe and it literally went a long way. And so... I think the bottle that I have is going to last me for quite some time, but I do paint a lot. But now at least I have some way to remove all those areas. Now with the silicone mat, I've had it for a while, so there's areas that are just stuck on there, won't come off. But now they have, so I'm super happy with this product. And again, I will share all that with you soon, and you'll see all the information you need to know below in the description 
along with a discount code for you guys to use. So I'm excited about that too. All right, so here it is. See that? Look at that, Hippie Crafter. And you'll see when I open it, you'll see how that white looks like because I've used different whites before, but none of them with this. So you saw both sides, the fibers, and now I'm scrubbing the mat. And again, when I'm scrubbing it, it's like it's allowing things to like pop up. And now I can easily use my nails to just, you know, peel them off. And I guarantee it, y'all, peeling these things off the mat is very satisfying. If you're having a stressful day, go on and peel paint or resin off your mat and it will fix that itch for you. Trust me, do it all the time. But then now I have a way to help remove those extra items. So when I open it, I flipped it over. See that? Look at that. Comes right up, right? Beautiful. And so this is just a very small portion of a mat. This is a large, very large mat, actually. And so I'm just in this little working area and just trying to see what all I can get from that same one. And then look how look all the dirt and stuff on there. Like it gets everything up for you. It's like having like a deep cleaning. And it's like somebody takes your car to the car wash and they say, oh, let me clean the inside for you. And they clean it like spotless. That's what this ended up doing for my mat. So I love it for that. Mm -hmm.